My name is Michael James. My name is Mark Adamale. My name is Al Key. There are two main applications for silver cells. One is for landscape and the other one is for stormwater. So one of the things about having soil volume mandates across the nation is that it creates an, an amazing opportunity for stormwater. We're very proud at Deep Root to say that on several projects, we deploy a silver cell to be used to support soil volume and at the same time, capture stormwater runoff and treat it all within the silver cell. When you start to integrate stormwater, we can run all your street and sidewalk water into that soil volume. You do retention now, detention, clean that water under the sidewalk, car park, or plaza. We've in fact built a giant underground rain garden. The Ministry of Environment and Climate Change regards silver cells in a stormwater application as equivalent to an above ground bioretention system, such as a bioswale. If you have to put a thousand cubic feet of soil per street tree, into a streetscape, it's a pretty simple thing to have that be a stormwater project. The pollutant removal processes of the soil are known, so we're the hydraulic conductivity of the soil. And these are the kinds of things that you could easily fill out the paperwork and have soil volume mandates be an absolutely essential portion of stormwater compliance within our cities. So these trees are literally bioutilities now. They're an integral part of the stormwater system. The root structure is feeding all of the microbial life in the soil, which does all the cleaning action on the carbon-based pollutants that are coming in off the street. In the world of a civil engineer, constituents of stormwater are regarded as pollutants. However, in the eyes of the forester or the arborist, all those constituents in your stormwater runoff are actually looked at as nutrients. So it would be smart for stormwater runoff to be directed to urban trees within our environment. Those perceived pollutants are absorbed as nutrients by our trees. As these trees grow and mature, they themselves are starting to evapotranspirate significant amounts of water. They're adding capacity to your gray infrastructure, providing resiliency to the gray infrastructure. Ultimately, the trees and the soil volume within silver cells can help to control that stormwater runoff, give you some treatment, give you some management, and also give you some attenuation. That way all the storm sewers within our cities don't get overburdened by all that runoff. It's in the developer's interest in order for the civil engineer to recognize tree soil as a stormwater bioretentive device. You could almost get a two for one for the project and reduce the cost to the developer. That's what we at Deep Root believe in, and that's what we're doing in deploying silver cells to be used in a combined trees and stormwater application. Undoubtedly in the future, this is going to be the way to design in our cities, rather than use clean, portable, treated water to be irrigating our trees. It's imperative that we start to use the rainwater, snow melt, natural precipitation to actually irrigate the trees in our environments.